Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com. You've joined me for um, a, a mini tutorial on using Adobe Stock. Now I've already got this composite project underway by placing this girl in front of a sky. Now at any time you do want to add your own images to your libraries, just grab the layer and then push that up into um, your libraries panel there. And you can use a mixture of Adobe Stock and also your own images. OK, so I've already licensed an image here and I'm using it, uh, accessing it from my textures uh, library. Um, you can um, separate your stock out by creating new libraries there. OK, so let's just um, uh, grab my abstract paint, uh, place um, a linked OK, placing links does allow you to scale multiple times if you're not too sure what size you want. I'm just doing a quick free transform here. I'll just zoom out because I want that a little bit lower. OK, so let's just um, pull that down. OK, OK, now commit that and uh, command zero to fit on screen again. OK, I, I can hide the white simply by using the multiply command there. I'll add a layer mask to this layer using the gradient tool. I'll just pull that down to hide the upper portion of there. I just wanted that grunge texture on the base there, sort of a fake um, grunge landscape there, if you like. I'm going to add to this by clicking on an add uh, new empty new layer there. Uh, I've got some uh, brushes that I can use here. So I've added brushes to my uh, libraries as well. And I've got one in the shape of a forest here, would you believe? And I'm just going to um, increase the size of the brush using the close square bracket key. And just a one click there adds my beautiful forest onto that horizon line. How great's that, eh? Just add some more trees over there. Yep, great, excellent. So now I've got a forest on top of the grunge landscape. OK, so I'll quickly um, select the girl. Uh, I now need um, some uh, another texture. So let's just go and look at one of my other panels here. I've got some uh, snow library here. And I've got this um, a snow rain. It's basically great because it's on a black background. Again, I'll just choose that um, place linked. Um, we'll find that some of these images that I'm buying from Adobe Stock are actually quite high resolution. Um, sometimes they just place a little bit smaller than you'd expect. OK, so I'll just hit the return enter key there. And um, given that uh, we have that black background, again, I can just hit the screen blend mode. It's a little bit bright, so I'll just drop the opacity, add a layer mask, this time using my keyboard shortcut, then select the brush tool. I don't want the forest this time, so let's just uh, select to uh, a non-surreal brush, just to your average soft edge brush there. I'll drop the opacity to 80% and then cut some of that, um, that particle effect um, from the foreground subject here, just building up a little bit more definition over the head. And essentially that is uh, my image now completed with just a little bit more depth and a lot more grunge. Okay, so I'm Mark Gaylor for markgaylor.com.